What's up, traders? Happy Friday. It is looking like Seattle, Washington here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I say that very stereotypically. Uh, it's pretty cloudy, kind of cold, kind of drizzly, but I love it. I think the weather is beautiful. <laughs> I, like, I just, I realized the other day, I just like weather in general. If, if, it, if it has weather, which pretty much each day does, it is a beautiful day. Let's talk about this beautiful candle. Uh, talking about beautiful weather. Here's the DIA. Very, very interesting gap location today. We gap down. Um, I mentioned I had a very interesting statement this morning that I'm bearish unless we bounce immediately. And that's pretty much what we did. We gapped down and it started bouncing immediately. So we are at this lower shadow on the DIA. Um, still kind of this, or I said lower shadow, lower trend line. This trend line that you can see above it is from a long-term angle. So let me hop over here to a monthly chart just in case. Just so you can see long-term, boom, 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 solid support. Now it's a resistance. And we're, we're gonna be battling this resistance probably for the next two, three months, potentially at some level. Um, if this is gonna be a rollover and we do something like this and we make it back up to you know, 17,200 on the Dow, uh, I think that's going to be kind of the potential antithesis that we could roll over a little bit. And then we we would kind of form this pattern, in which case, again, that's going to be the key support that if we break that, uh, I think we make it back down to, I mean, minimum on the Dow, 13, uh, 14,000, and then probably bounce a little bit and whatever. But uh, again, at the same instance, this is just a sharp retracement. Could become another trend, and honestly, we just do this again. Everything is all back in back in the works. So today, you know, a lot of people with the jobs report. I guess people felt bullish. The jobs report came out pretty badly today, and everyone else was saying, "Well, with this kind of reporting numbers, probably the Federal Reserve won't raise interest rates. And if they won't raise interest rates, then the market will probably go up a little bit." So my overall thought on the SPY recently, which is the ETF that tracks the Standard and Poor's 500, is just a few days ago um, on. What day is it? So 9.30, September 30th. Good chance SPY could trade back up to the 50 EMA on the daily. Beautiful morning star at support. That's just kind of my thought. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But again, there's still that support. We did make a higher high and a higher low. We are making a higher high today. Um, so I think that we make it back up there. And again, just SPY might be in this little channel. I think we trade up here. Uh, and then maybe get uh, kind of another rollover potentially in late October and just kind of complete this channel phase looking thing. I think that's a really good opportunity. That's exactly what happens. We'll see if it does. I'm not sure. Uh, Carrie Ann had herself a 178.50, 177.50 bull put spread with her six cents. Carrie Ann, uh, high five. That expired worth was a beautiful job. Let's check out some of the big tech stocks. Apple. Uh, you guys do know that I was triggered into a bearish trade on Apple on the 30th of September. I have moved the stop after this crazy bullish candle today um, to just lock in some commissions pretty much. The high of today is 111.01. My stop currently is 111.08. So very good chance I'm going to get stopped out uh, today, later this afternoon in the next 20 minutes or maybe on Monday. I'm not sure. But uh, Stan did lock in himself two R's on that trade. So Stan, great trade. Uh, good friend Brian in Vancouver has a, uh, I thought it was a 102 put sale. Uh, 102 put sale for October on Apple. And um, again, you know, it didn't quite make it to the support. Still could, doesn't have to. But if it doesn't, I'll probably leave Apple alone until earnings and let just let it, that's going to play out. But, uh, you know, paid for commissions and maybe enough to buy a milkshake or something on Apple. Here's Netflix. Netflix, in my opinion, looks kind of nice out of this little triangle looking pattern. I was looking to go bearish on the 29th of September, which was this day. And then the 30th, that's when I was like, all right, guys, we got a good gap. Let's kind of consider going bullish. So bearish perspective, more or less off the table on Netflix, looking for kind of a bullish move at this point. I'm um, just going to sit back and see what it's going to do. Earnings on Netflix kind of coming up uh, pretty soon. And I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but my thought is if we uh, if we trade down to 86.39 on earnings, we gap down there, we'll probably get bought. If we open exactly right here like 9382 on earnings will probably trade down to that and then bounce if we gap up we'll probably trade down and bounce on netflix amazon hop over to amazon amazon's looking cute looking bullish uh my boy troy has a bear call spread somewhere don't know where it's expiring though i didn't get the numbers but i'm sure he probably put that 
up here. That should expire worthless. And Brian Bodie uh, has a bull put spread down here somewhere. So that should be uh, good to go. Uh, by the way, me and Brian Bodie played each other this Friday, uh, or, well, this weekend in fantasy football. And we have a pretty significant wager on hand. I'm sure you guys will see the aftermath of that uh, for whoever whoever wins or loses. Probably going to be me because my star quarterback, Tom Brady, is on bye week. And I had to pick up uh, Michael Vick, who got me 10 points. Steelers, SCOBY, too bad. Amazon, that's what I got on Amazon. Google, here's Google, G-O-O-G-L. Nice little candle today. Earnings again also kind of coming up and Google's forming this little pattern like this. Uh, I'd more or less say on Google, don't know what direction it's going to break on earnings, but whatever direction it gaps out of that a symmetrical triangle looking thing is probably the direction that it goes. Baidu, hanging out, kind of a little bit of a bullish candle today. Um, very similar to a lot of other stocks uh, out there. Do kind of trap some people with some low of the day breaks on Baidu. Verizon, I think we made about uh, a Starbucks coffee amount of money on Verizon today. Uh, day trading at bearish just early this morning. Got out when the market started popping. This is a bearish swing trade that we're in, um, 43.23 by 44.08. So the pink line is dividends. So I'm not going to stay in this trade bearish until you know the dividend payout. Uh, so I will exit before that, which I think is the 8th of October. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, depending on what happens Monday, Tuesday, it might exit for a small profit and just call that one a day and see what it goes from there. So anyway, it should be kind of interesting. Um, you know, the markets were at some relative supports and we're bouncing, guys. That's a simple fact. SPY could be range bound. We'll see what happens. But uh, until then, until this point, I say just kind of be cool, calm, and collected. The only other trades that we really got into as of yesterday were some put sales, um, believe it or not, just for October. So we got two weeks on these. Uh, Brian got into a uh, put sale, $49 put sale on UAL. Did some analysis on Southwest Airlines for a $36 put sale expiring in October, and American Airlines, um, a $36 put sale for October, and or bull put spread. Those all expire uh, just a few days before earnings and uh, should be okay, but we'll keep a close on them, of course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, other than that, thanks so much. If you guys have any questions, always feel free to message me. Jeremy at Real Life Trading, find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever your juice, feel free to drink it. Have a great afternoon, guys. Enjoy your weekend, and until next time, remember, love life, live life, and trade. See you.